So I got a, a couple rapid fire questions for you here. Sure. Uh, I got five of them. Do you like to putt with a line on the ball, or do you just don't really focus on the line and and just kind of read it? And so, along with learning how to hit the ball, I just learned how to putt as well. I'm learning. Well, I'm <laughs> learning how to putt. Right. So the line, I always looked at it like I was like, I don't have time for that, but I actually use it now. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I use the the line on the ball as well as the alignment on the putter. And I'm getting within three feet. Like, I just want to be within that hula hoop, right? So if you yeah, hula exactly. hoop outside of it, that it's really helped me a lot. So, yeah, um, yeah I, I'm a big believer in that now, for sure. Cool. Hell yeah. Uh, what TV or movie character do you most relate to? Oh, uh, TV or movie character? I don't know, man. Like... I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> maybe, okay. maybe like a, um, I don't know, like, Jesus, I, like Forrest Gump, oh, maybe like, you know, Gump. like I'm, I don't feel like I'm real smart, but I feel like I can execute at the end of the day. I don't know if that makes sense. One I will <laughs> say, one of my favorite movies of all time. Hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. N- not a TV or movie character, but you just remind me. I was telling Gary before. You remind me of Dr. Brett McKee, but I don't know if you ever watched any of his stuff from Decade Golf, but. Feel like a very similar vibe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it back. out. I haven't laid yeah, back, yeah. really good, knowledgeable. Yeah. It's, it's, okay. It's, he's a he's an Alabama guy, and he does. He's like a psychology professor there, but okay. he's a big golf guy, and I think he does some things with their athletics program as well. Nice. What's up, but, puppy? That's yeah, Benny. This is Benny. Benny. He's jumping in real quick. <laughs> just, he just waved fucking, at me. He's a yeah. Maniac. Yeah. He'll do that. He was That's typing awesome. questions before. Somebody. Yeah. Come on. Nice. Uh, next one I got Are you blade or a mallet putter kind of guy um blade but again i don't know enough about it i like i have a hard time looking down and seeing a big chunk of metal i gotcha. it's, yeah. it's hard it's hard for me i mean i grew up with like those mini putt like those little tiny you know kind of ones you would go to miniature golf course and yeah exactly they're covered yeah, yeah. in rubber now or whatever but yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'd like to learn more about it because i just i feel like that's a part of my game i need to get better at mm-hmm. yeah oh yeah uh what's your go-to golf ball brand model seed golf is it seed golf so i did a lot of testing uh in 2023 um one of my good friends i grew up with is the um he's like the marketing guy at la golf so i got a i got a dozen of those if they weren't so expensive i would use those they are the best golf balls by far on the on the market but there's there's 70 dollars for a dozen and i'm not paying that wow. right oh yeah. damn so and and i can like, so I'm a value guy, but I'm also like a, a price point guy, right? Like I said, I want to make sure that it's it's more accessible. I hit noodles for the last several years, and I mm-hmm. think they're an underrated ball. You can get, mm-hmm. you know, 24 of them or 36 of them on Amazon for like 12 bucks. Yeah. Um, but I'm moving to seed because I'm I'm hitting the ball better, and I want to be able to spin, you know, control the spin. So that's what I'm – Yeah. It's going to be the seed, the zero twos, I think, the ones I'm okay. going to be playing this year, yeah. Good enough. Good enough. And I'm losing cool. less balls, so I can justify spending, <laughs> yeah, yeah, spending that's a right. little tiny bit more, right? <laughs> Dude, honestly, I'll never for I don't even care what anyone says. I'll never forget the first round that I went without with using one ball. Yeah. That's, it's I, a big day. It's, yeah. That's that's a big day. It's a day <laughs> yeah. I, I became a man. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's that's a big deal. It's you know, it's those small wins, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. You know, you, I guess one ball and one tee. I've I've played around the golf with one tee, and that's that's pretty okay. Hard you're just a you're just a maniac. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't fucking absolutely not. <laughs> uh, last of the rapid fire. If you weren't golfing, what what else was it that you'd be doing? Just average day with my like with my time like outside of my professional life. Yeah. 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 Um. Probably be doing some kind of like. I'm a huge documentary guy and I'm actually, are we good? Is it working? Yeah. We're there good. you go. Okay, go no, ahead. I just clicked like an <laughs> asshole on the other side. It's fine. No, no, it's all good. Um, so I, if I wasn't doing golf, I would probably be making documentaries about something. I'm actually in the middle of making a documentary about the town I grew up in. Oh, um, cool. And I was, I was working hard on it. And then like 2023, so I was let go from my job due to like restructuring and all that. And then three weeks later, my mom passed suddenly and it kind of took the wind out of my sails, right? Like really yeah. bad. And I had all these plans and I just kind of like, I was like, ah, this kind of sucks and whatever. Um, but now like things, you know, again, my mom would just be like, you know, 
cut the shit and go do work. Like go do what you want to do. Have a good time. So I would definitely be doing like documentary stuff or going out and like filming, filming friends doing whatever they do. And I have a drone. I'm trying to get my buddy who's like licensed and has like seven drones to show me how to really fly it and all that. So that's probably <laughs> nice. what I would be doing. Hell yeah. So you're kind of all over. You do like a little Dude, bit. Dude, I, I am the most, like, I don't know many people like me that can think of all this shit to do. And I talk a bit like I have a two thousand dollar. Actually, it's probably like a five thousand dollar laser here that I bought to do custom work on golf clubs. I have mm -hmm. not turned it on one time. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, emulate that though. It's it's crazy. I um, like there's yeah, there's all kind of stuff that I start and then I'll go back. I'm trying to be better with that this year though. No, oh, yeah, cool. That's cool. What's the goal you have for your golf game this upcoming season? Go to a seven. Go yeah. To seven. yeah, just Love go to a it. seven. I want to, I mean, I know that I'm going to have really bad rounds, but mm -hmm. I, I've gone out and played a little bit like late last year, like November, December, there are some warmer temperatures. Uh, and I've applied what I've learned in the sim world. And I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, you can't really learn on a sim. Let me tell you something, man. Like you can get every bit of data on those sims that you can get. Yeah, I mean, exactly. It's you can go to a driving range. You don't know what your spin rate is. You don't know what your carry no. is. You don't know, you know what. You don't really know. I mean, it could say you know fifty yards, a hundred yards, two hundred yards to this pin. It it might not really matter. I can yeah. go and hit. I know that I hit my fifty six degree wedge up to ninety yards, and I know that you know through learning how to actually hit the ball and spin the ball and set the club open or closed, I can do a bunch of different things with it. So that's really where I want to gain strokes. I don't, I have a problem off the tee, uh, but everywhere else I'm pretty solid. Like I could, I usually hit like cool. a four iron or like a four wood off the tee. Mm -hmm. My four wood goes 240 yards rolled out. My driver goes 250 yards rolled. Like it, there's something wrong there, right? That's how I am too. I'm <laughs> that's, the same I was way. Just say, that's literally <laughs> TJ. <laughs> and so usually it's four iron and my three wood, and it's yeah, the same thing. Yeah. So that's funny. It's how. Yeah. Um, what would, what do you think the biggest like transition was for you from? uh like baseball to golf like what were like what was the big the hardest transition but then like kind of on the opposite and what was like the easiest transition for you so i am a major team player but i have mm -hmm. super high expectations of myself no matter what it is that i do so i think it was a frustration that was the hardest thing for me because you know as you'll hear baseball players like hey i can hit a 90 mile an hour fastball or a 78 mile an hour curveball or whatever, but I can't hit a damn ball off of a tee sitting still, right? Mm -hmm. And I, it might have been Mo Norman. Um, I used, I'm a bit like this is so terrible, man. I'm like a big infomercial junkie. Like I, that's what I grew <laughs> up on, right? Because I didn't have cable growing up, so I would see all these infomercials on like the, like the local channels. And Mo Norman, I think it was him. He had a golf club. Maybe it was Butch Harmon. Whatever, it doesn't matter. He had a golf club with a it looked like a baseball bat as the head. And he's like, if you want to hit one to right field, what do you do? If you want to hit one to left field, he goes, you have to be square and you only have to be perfect like that far. Right. Right. And from that point on, it made a lot more sense to me. So I'm, I'm trying to understand more about like the, you know, the open face, the closed face, all that other kind of stuff. Now I'm learning about loft, but the biggest thing for me was, I, again, I'm a team player. I love team but I want it's my whole mantra for 2024 and forward is just me versus me. I have to get better. Um, and I, I mean, I've thrown clubs. I have one of my best reels I ever put or I think it was a reel. It's like 35,000 views or something. It was me throwing a club because I shanked. It was a great shot, but I just kind of, I pulled it into the water and it was frustrating for me. I, yeah. I snapped a putter. Don't worry. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. I tried That's to snap a driver. I tried to snap a driver over my knee and I was so embarrassed that it didn't break. <laughs> <laughs> I I got like three quarters of the way and it didn't. And I was just so mad. So I like just put it down. I ripped it. Yeah. I had them laughing. So it was fine. Yeah. Yeah. And then I thought to myself, I'm like, you dummy. Like, even if it did break my luck, a piece of graphite would go in my eye and it'd have to <laughs> right. go like yeah. have surgery or like, it's just not Literally worth it. So show up with an eye patch the yeah. next day. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah, we appreciate the time. And uh, sure. uh, just real quick, to give everyone like just your socials, where they can find you, stuff like that. Yeah, man. So all of my socials are the Bumbling Golfer, um, Instagram, Facebook, 
Facebook's kind of weird with this. Like there's still there's not a whole lot of a yeah. whole lot of uh stuff there that actually, you know, I get feedback on. Um the YouTube channel is mm-hmm. a bumbling offer and TikTok, I think, is bumbling offer. Um cool. Yeah, man. It's uh that's about it, man. Awesome. Well, yeah, thanks man. a bunch, John. We appreciate you taking the yeah, time and so uh much. Yeah, dude, we'll uh, we'll get down it. to the PA soon. Yeah, yeah. Let me know for sure if you guys are gonna come down. Actually, I'm gonna I'm going to be heading up to, I have some, some interesting content. I'm not ready to release uh, what the details are because mm-hmm. what I found is when I start talking about things, other people go out and do it. And yes, yeah, um, so I'm, I'm going to try to move a little bit more in silence, but uh, some really cool stuff coming up and I'm taking the the YouTube channel to, um, it's going to be the same YouTube channel, but it's going to be like two different pieces of content for the same exact thing that i'm doing so it's uh that's cool yeah but uh we'll see i'm trying to take my cinematography to the next level so there we'll see awesome. what there oh, yeah. yeah we'll be on the lookout for that cool. yeah man and, awesome. um, well thanks again man yeah thank you guys so much and uh you know we'll be in touch that was a cool interview with john hope you guys enjoyed that heck yeah man uh looking forward to maybe getting down there and hopefully being part of the scramble house thing looking towards that uh really cool to talk about like john just all the things that he does and all the different avenues that he takes so yeah that was fun yeah it's fun just kind of collaborating with other acorn hills ambassadors as well yeah absolutely so make sure you go give uh the bumbling golfer uh follow on youtube instagram tiktok all that fun stuff and uh hopefully you know we'll have him back on the channel and you'll probably see us be playing him at some point this summer Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.